Hello YouTube, I'm Dr. Tactical, and today we are doing my very first sequel, part two of this video right here. This video has gotten more comments, I think, than any video I've put out. People have lost their minds over this video. Now, my feelings were a little hurt because I shared. I shared my feelings. I, I shared with you guys a concept that I developed on my own. Uh, I'm the creator of this idea of the backup revolver. Yeah, I'll explain in a minute. Anyway, after reading through the comments section, I realized that I did not do a good job of fully explaining the rationale with this concept. Um, and I want to spend a little more time because there were people who were downright angry about this. And I think it warrants a conversation. So I, was found my, I found myself typing the same stuff over and over. And I'm like, you know what? Let's do a follow-up video. And that's what this is about. I'm Dr. Tactical, and the doctor will see you now. Welcome back to the channel. And those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy what you see. And if you do, please consider hitting the like button. And your timing couldn't be better because we are running a special right now. If you hit the subscribe button, all subscriptions to the Dr. Ch Tactical channel are free. That's right. I would hit it right away. I don't know when this software is going to end, but I would jump on it. And once you hit that, you may also want to consider hitting that bell because the bell will then, at no charge to you, notify you as each new video comes out. Please take advantage of this opportunity while it's available. All right, on to today's topic. We are going to talk about the concept of a backup gun, or more specifically, a backup revolver. And that's important because reading through the comment section, that's really what this entire video is about because... After doing the other, um, the previous video that we're, we're talking about today, I had the opportunity to read through the comment section. And the comment section is full of all kinds of people. We have some really knowledgeable individuals. We have some complete morons. We have some people that are hysterical. We have some people that are angry. It's just a wild group of people, and it's fun. I enjoy reading everybody's comments. But it also is a good litmus for me to see who is really appreciating the point. Did I get a point across? Now, that, just because you don't agree with me doesn't mean I didn't get the point across. I could be wrong. I'm not on this one, though, but we'll, <laughs> we'll talk. Um, so this is just an opportunity for me to be a little clear because I, apparently I didn't do a great job of explaining it because there's a lot of confusion on this. And, and I just want to spend a moment to this, or a couple moments to discuss it. It's not going to be a terribly long video, I promise you. Uh, I do want to point out, though, some of the things that I learned during this video. For example, I didn't think about this, although somewhere I did know this. There's a lot of states that carrying a backup gun isn't an option. Uh, D.C., it, not a state, but still counts. Um, you know, I, as I understand it, your license is tied, your license to carry, your permit to carry, is tied to a specific gun. You can't carry more than one gun. Um, maybe there's some special exemption you can get, but not that I'm aware of. But a lot of these states, you know, I live in Maryland, which is not a gun-friendly state. And I listen to these other people sending me things in from uh, more oppressive states like, you know, California, New York, New Jersey, D.C. And suddenly I have a little bit more appreciation for Maryland. It's not as bad as I uh, give it, you know, crap for. Still not a friendly state, but compared to the, the you know these other states, I'm I'm pretty lucky, so I'm going to stop whining. Anyway, the for those states that you are allowed to carry a backup uh, revolver, here's why it's such a good idea, and here's why it specifically has to be a revolver to really follow this pattern. And by the way, this is called, in case you guys didn't know, the Baltimore Reload. Now, several of you are like, no, it's not. And you're right, it's not. But a lot of the comments that came through were calling it the Chicago Reload, which apparently isn't a thing either. So a um, viewer who took the time to comment, uh, Scott Edwards 402, um, is a retired NYPD officer, and he shared with us that um, Jim Cirillo, 
of stakeout squad fame used two revolvers back in the day. Hence the term New York Reload was born. So apparently the father of New York Reload is Jim Cirillo. So I'm just sharing with you what, um, what Scott Edwards 402 shared with me. And he seems to be a fairly erudite uh, individual. So I'm going with that. All right, let's talk about where I feel like people were missing the point. A lot of the comments, and I'm sort of looking through them here in front of me, were that, you know, he's completely wrong about this. Well, you know, but nobody's ever complained about not having enough um, ammuni ammunition or not having, um, complained of having too much ammunition. Here's the thing. As an armed citizen, as a legally armed citizen, you have a duty to get away from a life-threatening situation. Not engage, but get away. Now, if you're unable to get away, then you have the right to defend yourself. But when I'm reading these comments coming at me where people are like, I have three 20 round magazines, you know, and a spare drum, and I'm, you know, then these, these are much more important. So I can, you know, and, and you know what? These ninja warriors out there that fantasize about these mall shootings with multiple shooters, and I mean, and that, and by the way, I'm not saying that's not a possibility. I'm saying let's reel it in and let's get realistic. Now, as somebody who carries a gun, I'm already not really following the, the statistics because statistically, we're never gonna have a gunfight. And God willing, that's true. However, if it happens, you know, I, I feel more comfortable having a gun with me and, and I feel safer. And if it happens, I, I feel like I'm somewhat prepared. But you have to prepare for the, what's, what's the most realistic. The chances of being in a major shootout where you are actually changing a magazine to have more ammunition. Now, there's other reasons to change a magazine, but changing a magazine to have more ammunition is virtually nil. Not nil, but virtually nil. Highly, highly unlikely. Now, changing a magazine because your gun jammed or because a failure to feed or because you have uh, bad ammo, that's a little higher of a possibility. So you, having a spare magazine is useful in those situations. It's a lot easier to do that than go through, you know, the tap rack and you know, all that stuff. Bang. You want to you wanna, um, be ready and in the fight. But having two different types of guns, two different platforms, is a game changer. And here's why. When we're talking probability, there is, if you're, if, again, having a situation, a self-defense shooting situation in general is a very rare event, thank goodness. However, in those situations, the likelihood that you're going to be in a physical altercation, the chances are very high that it's going to start off as a physical altercation and then switch over to a gunfight. And... In a situation where you're right up close and personal with somebody and there, there's hands-on, the revolver is by far the weapon of choice. A revolver is not going to go out of battery. You're not going to take a revolver and go up, push up against somebody. By the way, all guns have been safety checked and cleared. But a revolver is not going to go out of battery by being pushed up against somebody. And more importantly, and more likely, if you fall down, if you're on the ground, there's a high likelihood that you're going to be taking this shot, not from a perfect shooter stance, you know, with a two hands and in, in perfect position, wrist locked. No, you could be laying down and just, you know, getting whatever angle you can get to get that shot off. This will shoot six shots in that situation. It doesn't matter. This can become a one shooter, a one, one, one shot wonder. Because if you limp wrist it, you, you may not get the follow-up shots. And the time it takes you to correct that could mean life or death. So a revolver brings something different to the fight. So all you who commented who are saying, hey, you're crazy. You know, you, you have, it's so much faster to just throw a magazine in and fire off, you know, 15 more rounds and throw another magazine in. It, not really. And there's definite times where having the revolver could make all the difference in the world. So 
I just want that. To, I want you guys to consider that. Um, now, there's one other thing. And before I do that, I want a quick word from our sponsor. Uh, yeah, that's right. Dr. Tactical's got a sponsor. This used to be me. This is how I was seen in cyberspace. Just a plum for the picking, if you will. Um, just a babe in the woods, a prey for any predator out there. And there are a lot of predators out there. But then I found Aura. And Aura changed everything. Signing up with Aura changed everything. I was suddenly layered in protection in cyberspace. I no longer received nearly as many uh, spam phone calls or emails, but more importantly, when somebody tries to access my accounts or personal information, I'm notified by Aura. They are on top of it. I strongly recommend that you take advantage of the free 14-day trial period that they're offering my viewers. I think you'll be really impressed with what you say, and you'll be much safer out there. So one final thing on a revolver that, that really should be mentioned. A revolver is capable of firing, especially a revolver like this. Now, somebody wrote, why would you use a Kimber instead of a Colt? Well, my Colt um, has a hammer, uh, my, my Colt Cobra, um, where the Kimber K6S doesn't. Uh, I do believe they make a double action only Colt, but I can only have so many different guns. And by the way, I happen to love this Kimber, so I'm not complaining. But this gun in my pocket, I'm capable, especially in a jacket pocket, the winter or fall, I'm capable of having the gun on a target that I'm concerned with, that I feel threatened by, with nobody, nobody the, um, the wiser for it. And having the ability to shoot six shots from inside a pocket, forget even drawing, you know, just I'm staying in the pocket and shooting. There's really nothing here to get tangled up. There's no bullets or casings. I'm sorry, no casings flying out the side, no reciprocating slide moving, no hammer that could get something caught in it. Just bullets coming out aimed where, you know, where I'm aiming. So that is, you know, that's just another bonus. So again, I appreciate all the comments. I truly do. And I, I enjoy all you guys in there. Some of you can learn to be a little more civil. Uh, but you know what? You be you. Um, I'm, enjoying the, I'm enjoying reading them. Uh, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to sort of make my case a little bit better. You may still not agree with me. You have the right to be wrong. That's cool. I'm Dr. Tactical. Dr. Tactical, out.